So this is how the picadillo looks after it boils down. All right, so we have our poblano and lo vamos a tatemar is the word. That's the word of the day, tatemar. As you can see, the kitchen is a little dirty because I've been doing a lot of chilies. So the trick here is you don't want to scorch, I mean like totally burn them or they start to rip because if they rip it's going to be harder to work with them so you want to kind of scorch them evenly see like right there and it's just a little bit on the side to just work them around now if you have a little tool like I do it's going to be easier this I got in El Mercado for like, like two dollars or something like that, it's like 40 pesos. This works great for maybe you want to do two or three chilies at a time and the smell is, you can tell you're in Mexico when you, every time I do this, it's like yep, this is Mexico alright. These things start to get red. That's a good thing. I don't like to burn the rabo or the stem because I like the way it looks after you finish with the product. I like to see the little stem sticking out. You can tell it's a it's a chile. Back side, this side is pretty much done. What you want to do is add some water to this bag and then just throw it back out so you have a wet bag inside. Okay, once you're finished with the chile, you put it in so the bag. So this will act like a steamer and it'll steam your chile so it can be easier to peel. All right, so after you steam the chile for like about five minutes, take it out. Now on this part, if you want, you can wear gloves, but um, I don't wear gloves anymore. I used to because it's hot and sometimes they're spicy, they burn. Uh, I recommend you use the gloves. See how it peels nicely, and that's what you want. Wash your hands. So, after you wash your hands and you dry them, they're very good, you try again. Okay, when you're done peeling the chile, taking out all the ash you can. Now you have to find an area where you're gonna cut. If you already see a cut, just use that cut. See right here? Just follow that. Make sure you don't cut your hand. Okay, there you go. You already made the cut. Now, um, for this part, I really recommend using gloves. Because you're going to take all the... All the seats and the pulp out. Like that. What I do is I kind of fold it inward like that. And it's easier to take up all the seeds. I, please use a glove because it's hot and like it's spicy. You'll, you'll spice up your hands and they'll burn. So um, after you take out uh, taking out all the seeds, you remove all the seeds. We're gonna uh, remove the veins because both suckers are hot too. And that what, that's what makes the chile really spicy. So after all the seeds are gone, you have to take all of them out. You know, it's fine, just one seed left or whatever. Fold it back in 
and you're going to remove the veins because you see it's got like little veins these things are what is what makes chile really spicy it usually has two or three this one has two so you can see like right here i'm going to take this out right here so let's see if i can do it like this here you can see. maybe you just want to start from right there make sure you don't rip it there you go you already have your chile to work with Chile. Poblano. Make sure you use a poblano. Don't use like a bell pepper or nothing like that because that's not what the recipe calls for. And I had a chef one time. She always said, don't fuck with the recipe, man. So don't do that. So we're going to fill up the chile. What you need is a measuring cup and a spoon, your chile, and the porous picadillo. So you fill this up to three quarters. Three quarters, that's all we've used most of the time, huh? It's not about three quarters. And then you start to fill it up. So here we have the chile. And here we go. Easy, easy as pie. Ooh, pie. Make sure you fill it all the way in like that. You close it. There you have it. Okay, para capiado, you need to be ready with your chiles already stuffed, your flour. And two egg yolks and three whites. Three egg whites and two egg yolks. You save the other one. You need to be ready with your um, pan on medium high heat. And you need to be ready with where you're gonna rest your chiles. Alright? And you need to be ready with salt and um, polvo para hornear and your egg beater machine here we go When it looks like froth or uh, cool whip, you're good. You add the two egg yolks, salt, and like a pinch or two pinches, this powder polvo para hornear. And then you go on the first setting, on the one. And then just mix it. To figure out if it's ready, just grab a little bit of this. And if it starts to bubble, then it's perfectly ready. Now, you'll need something like this to move your eggs around. I mean, move your chiles around. All right, so you need to grab one of these chilies and roll it. Roll it around. And then kind of remove the excess. And then I've done this so much that I can't even do it with one hand. I think, hope it doesn't go wrong. You kind of, kind of scoop and just, do that 
and see where you see the meat coming out kind of just cover it just cover it a little so when you turn it over it doesn't leak out now there's many ways people do this this is my way so what I do is I grab this one which is plastic this one will melt you can leave it under the oil for a while this one could be under the oil, hot oil as long as we want so this one's going to be under this one's going to just turn the chili around you'll see Then we will try and wiggle it out. There you go. It came out perfectly. And you can see on the sides, I don't know if you can see, but it starts to get golden. So once it starts to get golden, maybe one more time, turn it around. There you go. Just leave it for about a minute, I mean, a couple of seconds. And when it's, once you start seeing the sides, getting golden, wiggle it out. And then one more turn. And that should be the trick. And I think that's perfect. Thank you. 